to my channel. My name's Elena, so glad you're here. I've lived in this apartment for now, almost a year and a half. I've, I'm on my second lease here. I signed it right before the pandemic and then left, but now I'm back. I have not lived in the same place for more than a year since I was 17. So the fact that I'm here for two years is like, crazy for me. Filmed on my channel previously, another room makeover back when I was in California. I did a little inexpensive quick room flip in my parents' house. That was a really fun video for me to create, to edit, and just like play around with. And so I figured now that I'm back in my own space, why not take some time and kind of make it over? So my goal is to revamp the room by switching out some pieces, changing up some of the decor, the color scheme adding in some plants is always a great way to go to just kind of make it feel like a new room and a fresh space. I'm also gonna create a little like Pinterest mood board of like artwork and color schemes that I like and we'll slowly start picking out pieces to add to the room. So I don't really have a set plan, but I have a loose idea and vision and we're gonna run with it. So here's a little room makeover for you. Hope you enjoy. Welcome, here is the before in all its glory. I honestly still really like it. This is how I like originally designed it when I moved in here. I feel like I'm gonna keep a lot of the furniture pieces the same, but move stuff around. One thing is that I can no longer really work at a co-working space is that I wanna get a good proper desk space. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that little desk and I'm gonna use this wall right here to get a nice big desk, get a monitor, and just have a good setup to work out every morning. I wanna play around with how this is designed and like the things that I keep on top. I might paint the mirror or the dressers. And then, okay, yeah, don't mind my box. Let's just pretend that's not there. You know, I literally have this like artwork that I still have never hung to this day. And I have my little bookshelf here. I think I could design it better. Okay, welcome to my ridiculous Google Doc list. I wrote down my personal goals, I wrote down the things I wanted to get, and then I went and found links. Then I kind of made a list of inspiration photos that I found on Pinterest to kind of inspire the artwork that I will choose. I found pillows that I liked, and then some potential other accent pillows. And then finally, I went through Society6, where I'm gonna get most of my art, and kind of selected some art from there. And then some more detail pieces that I kind of got inspiration from. Okay, let's see what we're working with here. I know I'm looking for a desk that's about like 42 inches long with drawers. Okay, I feel like this one actually is a really good option. It's like the right size. There's like outlet areas within it. Big enough for a monitor and a laptop. I feel like this could be a good like productive desk setup. Facebook marketplace was super easy. I just messaged him and like, he was like, yeah, you can come later. And then I just found him. Um, and my sweet Uber driver, who I had a very long conversation with as we were stuck in traffic about his life in Yemen and all these things. And then he helped me put down some seats and I just stuck at it in the back of his trunk and then carried it through the lobby and then bring it in here. It's not light. May I add my workouts have hopefully been paying off. I've been ordering a bunch of things off different websites via my little like Google Doc you saw earlier. They're slowly trickling in. My monitor just came. I'm gonna set it up. I'm excited to be a, like a professional work from home expert. So well, let's get that set up and I'll show you some of the other things that I've been getting. Okay, that was very easy. <laughs> just kind of guessing here, I'm hoping for the best. Okay, I got excited. <laughs> And I plugged it in off camera, but look at her. I'm a professional now. I'm adulting. Can you tell? On brand. about to decorate. I've accumulated some pieces over the past probably a couple weeks and they finally all arrived so I figured I'd just add them all in. I picked up fun pieces just kind of from all over. Like I got this little guy off Etsy. I also got this on OfferUp. 
I was trying to repot another plant in my kitchen and I just ran out of soil. So I guess it's time to go to the plant store. drastically different times and I'm too impatient to wait to do them all at one time in one outfit. Let's get to it. First up, I bought these LED lights off Amazon that kind of make me feel like I'm trying to be like a 16 year old TikToker. But also, if I'm going to be locked in New York City uh, as it gets colder, I want to set a nice cozy vibe. And honestly, the photos of using these LED strips behind your furniture looks pretty damn sick. So we're going to try this out. I knew I wanted a big mirror to fill up the space, but this way I can actually like properly see my outfits. I feel like most mirrors this big were like 300, 400 dollars, but this was only 120 from Ikea and they delivered it straight to my door. So, I'm happy. Okay, so I have a project in the works. I've been wanting to repaint this for a little while now and then I finally got some paint from Home Depot. I'm gonna start the project. So I picked this really lovely sage green color because I thought it'd be nice to lighten up the room, but I didn't just want to do white because I felt like that was a little boring. So, okay, we'll see how this goes. I did wipe down the surface and I got a paint that said it had like the primer in it. Wow, it's already so pretty. I'm still deciding if I want to do just the drawers this color or if I also want to do the top. I think it's so fun. Okay, we got the first coat, looking cute. It's gonna take like an hour to dry before I can do another coat. New outfit, new day, new surprise. I feel like this whole thing is taking me a little longer than I uh, anticipated it to, but alas, here we are. I feel like this is the final step, which is very exciting. I'm finally getting to the artwork. I've spent so many hours picking out artwork, like an insane amount of time, like a too much time. I picked out all these pieces from Society6. I think they're all lovely and super fun. And now that they've all arrived, even though like I said, I spent a stupid amount of time just kind of planning it on Photoshop, like what arrangement I'd like, I think I'm gonna like scrap the whole thing I was planning and just kind of figure out a new arrangement. So we're gonna get to figuring out how I want them all displayed. You gotta frame some and then hang it. And then I think I'm pretty much done, which I'm excited about. We're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. I think it's a fun assortment of colors I like, patterns I like, you know, a little dark right here, some fun lighter colors up there. Okay, everything's officially hung up. I just did some deep cleaning. I'm gonna go take a shower because I've been sweating in this all day and then I will show you guys the grand reveal. I'm so excited. This has been months in the making, so let's get to it.
here's the after in all of its glory. Obviously not like a massive transformation, but I think it definitely got a good refresh. I am obsessed with how the drawers came out. I was originally gonna paint the entire dresser, but I think just painting the drawers this like sage green color kind of has this like mod mid-century look to it. I like how this area is a little less cluttered. I kind of got over the like jewelry stand situation and this will be easy to switch out if I wanna put fresh flowers in there. I switched out my pillows too here as you can see and went for some nice like green velvet pillows. We did the gallery wall. There's a few repeats, but definitely fixed it up. And I'm really happy with the ladder, kind of how it turned out. I kind of just tried to balance it throughout, which I think really helps when you're trying to kind of come up with a cute little shelving design. <laughs> And guess who finally has an adult desk set up? It does the trick for being able to work from home. I got my monitor, my like Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, connects straight to my MacBook so I can just do all my work on the monitor. I just added these two little frames, just kind of staggered them. I like that they were small since the art on the other wall is so big and kind of overbearing. I like how this wall feels a lot more just kind of clean and minimalistic. And oh my gosh, this mirror was such a good purchase. It is by far the best mirror I've ever had. It's so big, I'm super tall, and so the fact that I can see myself so well in it is really nice. Mirrors are always a great way to brighten up the space. What it looks like in the daytime, and then at nighttime, I like to turn on the lights behind the bed frame. It definitely does make me feel like I'm some gamer guy and I need to have some massive PC system, but at the same time, at the night, it's so cozy. It really just creates such a warm and nice space. You can obviously set it for like whatever mood you're feeling, and I feel like it's gonna be great as it starts to get colder, just as a way to stay cozy. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this before and after redoing my room. I hope it gave you some inspiration. I feel like in the past I usually go for like kind of a more simple minimalistic look, but I figured I'm gonna be here, you know, for all of winter, might as well kind of make it feel cozier. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and comment. This video took me a while. As you can probably tell, I've clearly lost my summer tan from when I started this video until now. So it's been a while, it's taken some time. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.